Hello! In this video we will demonstrate how to correctly assemble ASO safety edges using the case for Pro assembly system and components. To begin we have to cut down the safety edge profile. To accommodate the end caps we need the profile to be 24mm shorter than the required finished length of the safety edge. Use only the approved cutting tools now being shown on screen. The use of any other cutting tool is not recommended and may void any product warranty. Lay the safety edge profile on a flat surface and place the uppermost section, as illustrated on screen, into the open cutters at a completely flat angle, then firmly press down to cut the profile cleanly and neatly. Cutting the profile at an angle may affect the sealing of the system and lead to the exclusion of the warranty. The recommended cutting tools can of course also be ordered from your ASO dealer. Water drainage holes must be removed from the end caps before fitting. If the edge is not be mounted horizontally, remove the drain plugs from both ends. If the edge is mounted vertically, just remove the plugs from the end closest to the ground. For the safety edges with sealing lips, remove the notches as illustrated from the end cap to allow the sealing lips to protrude through the cap. The end caps have pre-marked areas for the cable exit. Choose the desired cable exit and push or cut it out. Push the lock cap into the hollow spaces surrounding the switching chamber. Ensure it is tied to the cut surface of the safety contact edge. No gaps should be present on either side. Then check whether the outer wall of the switching chamber abuts the lock cap. Slight rotational movements of the lock cap can additionally cause this. Remove the case for pro resistor or cable plug from its grey protective cap made by recyclable material. Be sure not to touch the black sealing compound. Insert the plug into the electrical switching chamber by pushing it in straight aligned, so that the self-adhesive sealant does not touch or stick to the lock cap. Now press with force on the plug using a thumb to drive the plug into place. Remove the pressure and then press the plug again to ensure the correct fit. Optionally, an assembly aid available from ASO can be used. Place the end cap neatly over the plug and lock cap. Then fasten it by pushing the fixation clip firmly into the holes marked on the end cap until it clicks into place. For bigger contact edges with height 45mm or more an additional fixation clip is used to fasten the caps. Repeat this step at the other end of the safety edge. A click should be heard to ensure the clips have engaged and locked successfully with the lock clip. The spears hold the end caps on, but they also ensure the plug seal does not move. This is essential to ensure the correct seal of the switching chamber. Once these have been fitted, they cannot be removed again without damaging the clip. Once damaged, they cannot be used again. Measure the contact edge with a multimeter. In rest position, the resistance value has to be in between 7.7 .7 and 8.7 .7 kilo ohms. When edge is activated, the resistance should not exceed 500 ohms. Test the case for Pro System. Experience the fastest, easiest and safest self-assembly system. 